Okay, so it's time for a mini lecture about Nathaniel Hawthorne. So The Birthmark was a short story by Nathaniel Hawthorne, and Nathaniel Hawthorne is a very famous American novelist and short story author. So Hawthorne often wrote stories that had to do with themes of religion, morality, and history. He wrote a very famous novel called The Scarlet Letter, um, in which a woman named Hester um, in 17th century puritanical New England okay, um, has a husband, her husband leaves, and she commits adultery with the local town reverend she becomes pregnant. She gives birth to a little daughter named Pearl, but she refuses to tell anyone who the father of her child is. And so she is ostracized from the town. She is shunned and she is forced to wear a large scarlet A on her chest for adulteress. Whereas the father of her child, the other partner, um, in her adulterous actions is never identified publicly and so continues to live with a very high reputation in town. And so um, these sorts of themes, all right, are present in a lot of his work. And even though um, there's less of a historical theme in the bookmark, that still has a lot of questions of religion and morality if you dig into it. Um, so a little background though on Hawthorne. He was born in 19, oh, sorry, 1808 and he passed away in 1864. All right. Now the particular short story that we listened to was published originally in March of 1843. And why this is notable is that um, Nathaniel Hawthorne himself married a woman named Sophia Peabody, Sophia Peabody, in um, 1842, so just the year before. And I think it's interesting to note that he wrote this particular story about a very scientific man and his wife the year after he himself was married. Ultimately, he and Sophia had three children together. Um, but um, getting back to where he lived his life now, he spent most of his time that he was on the American continent in the New England portion of the United States. So we're talking like Salem, Massachusetts, um, Plymouth, New Hampshire, those that New England area. And New England is rich with history and with culture. And so a lot of those um, histories and um, cultural elements are present in his writing. So, the themes that were present in the birthmark include playing God and the results of playing God, as well as the notion that love should be unconditional and not hinged on appearances. So um, the second moral is fairly straightforward. Please excuse my digital doorbell. Um, the, I apologize. So um, that second moral is fairly straightforward. You have a scientist who loves his wife and thinks his wife is beautiful and his wife has a birthmark that does not bother her, but all of a sudden he becomes obsessed with it and it seems like he has tunnel vision. It's all that he can focus on. It's all that he can see. Um, and he begins to allow that to mess with his relationship with his wife. And so the theme, the idea is that love should be unconditional. Um, you should not only care about appearances, but you should look at the person as a whole, right? Um, but then that first theme is where it gets a little more complicated. So playing God if someone is playing God, 
That means that they are interfering in things that they should not interfere in. They're trying to change things that they would like to see changed without heed to the natural order of things or the way that God made them. And so in this particular situation, you have a scientist who is playing God with his wife's appearance. And that has disastrous consequences. There's very often been set up this dichotomy, this God versus science, and that science is trying to play God. And while I do not necessarily subscribe to that notion, I think that science and religion can coexist very peacefully. Um, it does not escape my notice that, they're, that they're, they are falling into that sort of dichotomy of science playing God. So um, that was just a little quick rundown about Nathaniel Hawthorne and his short story. And the reason I talk to you about him is that because he's a very famous author, even though um, none of you are going into English as a major, you may run across references to Hawthorne, and I wanted you to have somewhat of a background to help you understand.